we are recording. Okay, so G chord with the uh, two fingers down. We've got the three and the three at the end on string one and two. We're going to go directly parallel with the big finger to the three on the sixth string and hold down number two on the fifth string. So let's try that chord out there. Not bad at all. Just a little bit dead at the end there, isn't it? Try and keep those fingers fairly close together. Miles better. So what we were talking about earlier on, that's why I'm recording this now, is we're going to take the same two fingers that are here, leave the threes down at the end, take your bass notes and move them to the fifth and fourth string respectively. So you pick from the fifth string and you'll now have a C out of minor chord. That's it. Excellent. So we were talking about strumming as well and we're thinking we're going to try and do this pattern but to keep it straightforward down strokes to start with. We'll go four strokes down on the G then four strokes down on the C. So I'll just demonstrate. cycle between them. You want to try that out? Something doesn't sound as clear. You're not quite making the, the notes at the end. We're not getting that sound there quite right. Yeah. So the first and second strings aren't resonating. That's better. I heard them that time. I can hear your uh, third finger has lifted off. This one's come off. It's oh, not making yeah. contact. Because yeah. I can hear that rather than this. Okay. Better. Okay, I'll stop the recording then.